Bay Main, night number two of the Easter Sprint Car Trail here at Borderline Speedway, Mount Gambier. Everybody on the main straight away. What a field. There is no better sight in world motorsport than the four wide salute to you, the fans, for night number two of the Easter Sprint Car Trail presented by Geelong Harley Davidson. Come on, everybody, in turn number two. Can I hear some noise? You've been a great crowd tonight. Everybody on the back straight away. Let's get some hands in the air. Wave them around. And for the last time tonight in turn number three, can I have some noise? What a great lineup. They'll work off turn number four. They'll break stride, go back to side-by-side -side formation. Great to have everybody come out and join us here at the Mount. Not forgetting, we've still got a great fireworks display. McCullough and Veal, Murcott and Dukas, Hall and Vogels, Hickman and Goodyear. And the lights go out. And the time for talk has finally finished. Because it's time to saddle up Mount Gambia, because here we go. The Easter Trail is green. Feel like a rocket ship to the top in turn number two. Fires down the back, shoot in the lead. Corey to second, Murcott to third, Dukas to fourth. Look at Murcott, Murcott, Murcott with a monster move. Gets by for second. One down, 29 to run. Veal is trying to disappear into the distance. Murcott strong tonight. That 88 is quickly to P2. Then it's Corey. Back to fourth is Vogels. Look at them three wide further back in the field as Jock Goodyear. Brock Hallett and Anderson on the bottom with three wide. That was in turn two. Still fourth is Vogels as Peter Dukas puts it to him. Back in sixth is Aiden Hall. Seventh is Ryan Davis. Eighth is Rusty. Ninth is Anderson. Then it's Jock Goodyear. Back to Brock Hallett. Matt Dumsden. But it's all Veal by a straightaway. Into three. Out of four. Back to the main straight. Five down, 25 to go. Approaching the back markers. Murcott's in hot pursuit. Corey McCullough just cruising the top in third. Fourth is Johnny Vogels, then it's Peter Dukas. Rusty's trying to rip the outside groove around the top of Davis. Aiden Hall in the 15, just up the road as Veal now has caught MVB. The 45 car is the first in his sights. Veal masterfully whistles by the 45. A huge gaggle of cars on the back shoot right ahead of your leader. Murcott trying to close, but it's back marker between he and your race leader, Veal. A massive amount of cars ahead of Veal. Eight down, 22 to run. Still Murcott unable to close as Corey's in third. Fourth is Vogels. Fifth is Dukas. Sixth is Aiden Hall from Rusty Hickman. Then it's Grant Anderson back to Brock Hallett. Veal has caught Marcus Dumsney. Trying to drive by the Valvoline number five. Murcott has cleared the 45, so no traffic between first and second. Veal swings back to the top in turn four. 20 laps to run as Veal picks off two in one foul swoop. What a move. Got by Marcus and Dennis Jones. Dennis fights back. There's a little bit down on the bottom as he goes back by Veal. Veal has tugged the top wing back as Rusty Hickman slips to the inside. He rejoins on the back shoot. Just ahead of your leader. Veal, that time works the bottom as there's two back markers between Veal and Murcott. Corey McCullough is third and closing on Murcott. Johnny Vogels is fourth doing likewise. He's quickly approaching Corey. Back to Peter Dukas followed by Aiden Hall from Grant Anderson, Brock Hallett. Then it's Luke Walker, Jock Goodyear. Your leader is in the middle of heavy traffic. Half a straightaway ahead of David Murcott. Jamie Veal as the back markers are side by side ahead of him. Pesca and Ryan Davis are side by side in turn one and two. Murcott continues to pepper away as Marcus Dumsney is between Veal and Murcott. 
halfway home. 15 to run. Corey McCullough still maintains third as Vogels is closing. He's within three car lengths. That battle for third and fourth is tight. Then it's Peter Dukas. Back to Grant Anderson. Aiden Hall, Brock Hallett. Luke Walker and Jock Goodyear. Oh, we've got one around. It's Craig Vanderstel. Just in front of your leader as Veal went to the inside and also Murcott slipped to the top in the 88. Corey McCullough is slowing up in the 90. Corey McCullough in the 90 has slowed. The third place car has come to a halt in the middle of the back straightaway. We are only under amber. Craig Vanderstelt in the SA2 has brung on the cautions. Five grand in the hand. Veal just leads them in. Track is wide, track is racy. And he swings off turn four and hauls it down into turn one and two. Murcott will try and come with him. Cautions breed cautions. We see it so often. Let's see if everybody can get back to race pace quickly as Murcott picks up the front end. Luke Walker looking racy. Jock Goodyear. Aiden Hall's got his hands full. So Veal works the main straightaway with 13 laps remaining in the night two Easter Sprint Car Trail Final here at Borderline Speedway, Mount Gambia. A beautifully prepared racing surface as Brock Hallett gets by Ando. Luke Walker's trying to come with him. Jock Goodyear ripping the top. The Tasmania 22. This 18-year-old sensation. How good is he? Oh, he just caught the wall in turn number two. We go red. Jock Goodyear, just as he was ripping the top, only barely caught the right rear in the concrete in turn number two. He just picked up a couple of really solid positions. And we go red. Time to get her done. Field Murcott Vogels. That's your top three. 12 laps to run here at the Mount. Beautiful night for a race. T-shirt weather. Where else would you rather be in the world than right here? Here comes Johnny. Murcott got a little loose in turn number two, and I thought Vogels was going to blow on by. He's got a mighty runoff turn four. Comes after Murcott. Veal skips away, maybe 10, now 12 car lengths as Vogels. Within a car length of Murcott, great race for second. Fourth is Brock Hallett. Fifth is the gun, Grant Anderson. Then it's Peter Dukas, Aiden Hall, back to Danny Pesca. Followed by Matt Dumsney. And Johnny will not go away. Murcott still slings out a turn number four in second. Vogels running a car width lower than him through the middle to three-quarter track as Murcott's rim riding his way around the top. Field to the main straight. Just took a little hole as he just whistles out of turn two, running the top. Hallett in fourth, fifth is Grant Anderson. Oh, Aiden Hall, Matt Dumsney, Marcus Dumsney. I think the first to go was Aiden Hall, maybe. Matt Dumsney in the 72. And Marcus with nowhere to go in the Valvoline five. We go yellow. Gee, it's narrow on the cushion right up top. What lit Veal, Murcott, Vogels, Brock Hallett, the gun Grant Anderson. That's your top five. And Veal picks up the pace now. Swing straight back to turn one. Johnny, Johnny, a monster slider in turn two, grabs second. Now Murcott fires back at him in turn three and regains second. Vogels and Murcott putting on a show at the restart here at the Mount. Veal almost kissing the concrete out of turn number two. It's narrow. He needs to be accurate, and he is. The SWI Racing 35. Watch him out of turn two. The rooster tail against the concrete here at the Mount. So impressive to watch. Stretching the advantage as he motors down into turn number one with five laps to go. Murcott to second. Vogels to three. 
Fourth is Brock Hallett. Fifth is Anderson. Then it's Danny Pesca. Pesca, a huge move on Anderson. Can he make it stick? Ando cuts back to the inside. But Pesca slides himself, tries to guard the spot, and he does. Rusty Hickman and Peter Dukas go to battle. They go wheel to wheel as Dukas slides on through. Veal still leads. This time by, there'll be two to run. The SWI Racing, number 35. Tuned by Stevie Trigg and Jeffrey Judd. Out of turn two, Murcott's in hot pursuit. This time by, the white flag will come out. Murcott is closing. Could it be a grandstand finish? The white flag is out. The 35 tries to go by the 15 as Murcott is looking to pounce. Is he good enough? Off turn four to get the checkered flag. Jamie Veal wins from David Murcott in second. Third home is Johnny Vogels. Back to Brock Hallett. Grant Anderson just takes over the spot from Daniel Pesca back to Rusty Hickman. Followed by Peter Dukas. Back then to Corey McCullough, Ash Van der Stel, Followed by Dennis Jones, Mike Van Bremen and Marcus Dalmasny. Come on, Borderline Speedway, how about some noise? He's gone back to back. The SWI race in number 35 and your feature race winner, the real deal, Jamie Veal. Gee, didn't that 88 charge in the dying laps. Got to within a couple of car lengths in turn number three on the final lap. Did he ever? That it made it a little interesting. <laughs> Especially when Vogas went past, I think Dave went, hang on, <laughs> you were there a minute ago, gone. He certainly fired a back though. Oh, yeah. Johnny Vogels was very impressive. How was the monster slider he put on at the restart down in turn number one?